club. And it's been our first spring showcase since 2019. So it's been my honor and privilege to be able to rebuild the club and perform with all of these dancers. However, we couldn't have done it without our current and outgoing artistic director and incoming president, Kat Kazina. Jessica. So, friends, thank you all so much for the radiant energy that you brought into the space tonight. It really makes performing so much more fun when you guys are involved, so thank you for that. And also, thank you for taking the time out of your super busy schedules to come out and support us. We really value and appreciate your time. So, kind of like Jessica said, my name is Ekaterina Kuzina, but known to most as Kat. A fun fact about me is that when my friends ask me what, where, what I define as my home, I always say the stage. I actually grew up as a competitive dancer, traveling across the country to auditions and whatnot, and realized that that wasn't really the lifestyle I wanted, and I actually ended up finding a better home in salsa. But what makes this semester extra special for me is that I had the opportunity to choreograph my first like partner dance with my best friend Aiden Shahan. Itself, but I'll get on him on that another time. <laughs> Enough about me though. What I really wanted to share with you guys is that, believe it or not, half of the dancers that set foot on the stage this afternoon were performing in their very first showcase. <laughs> And everyone, this kind of goes without saying, but it takes an immense amount of courage and a lot of practice to be able to put yourself out there in front of a live audience, especially if you're doing something that you've never done before. So dancers, thank you for your time, your dedication, and your passion. I am so proud of each and every one of you, and I hope you are too. super happy with how everything turned out, but I couldn't have done it without some really important people, so I want to invite you all to join me in thanking them. First and foremost, I want to invite Lainey up onto the stage. Lainey, where are you at? two weeks, literally answering my calls and effectively solving all of my issues while keeping me level here. So I really couldn't have done this without you, Lainey. Thank you. <laughs> so next, I want to introduce this little ritual that I don't think this also has ever done before. But I would like to invite the choreographers on the executive board to slowly start coming up on stage as Lainey presents you with your choreographer gifts. <laughs> some time to file on, I'm just going to give you guys some information about the club. So, if you haven't already noticed, it's essentially all student-led. We don't invite like faculty and staff as well as professionals to help us unless it's like a special occasion and we want to have them perform. So, all of the individual exec members as well as the choreographers have put in an immense amount of time and creative energy to create these fun routines for you guys to enjoy tonight. Um, a lot of our executive board is actually choreographing, so they kind of double dip. But a lot of members who are on the executive board also chose to challenge themselves and choreograph this semester. And I fully believe that choreographers are in like a special position to instill a sense of confidence in these dancers. And dancers, would you agree that they successfully did that? Because I would say so. who just didn't choreograph the semester, they still put in so much time into the logistical work of the club, effectively problem solving in ways that we can make it more efficient and more fun for our members. And we couldn't have done it without them. So I wanted to give everyone like a formal thank you for all of their hard work, their passion, and their dedication. We couldn't have kept the club going without you guys. So let's give it up for our prayers. such an integral role in the club, 
whether they just joined last year or they joined before the pandemic hit. And I wish you guys the best of luck in all that you're going to encounter, as well as many, many picante body rolls. <laughs> So you guys can go ahead and throw back into a line, <laughs> sorry, um, but I want to keep Iris up on the stage if, I, if you don't mind. Iris, these are for you. <laughs> for those of you who don't know Iris, she's our lead instructor. So when Doug and Jess were out here social dancing and they explained to you that they had never danced before they started the club, she's essentially the person who does all of that programming. Which was so integral because we started with so many new members this sem um, last semester after the pandemic. We only had 10 exec members maybe going into the fall, and now we have like 170, 80 of which are on the stage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> However, outside of like her taking the time to like build the technical foundations of salsa, bachata, and cha cha, Iris also choreographed two dances tonight as well as performed in two others. So I am unofficially nominating her as most valuable dancer. Weekend. 
and to photograph for us. And that one of those photos are actually a showpiece cover. You can see some of them on that back trifold, but she contributes a lot to promoting the club and we couldn't do it without her immense talents. Um, but now that all those thank yous are out of the way, my last and final one is to all of you again. It is such an honor to share a piece of us and share dance, which obviously holds a lot of value for us with the people that we love the most. Um, so thank you all for coming out and support us. Have a wonderful and safe rest of your day. I have some parking vouchers if you park at the Water Street Garage. So if you want to come find me, I'm about to grab those. They only work for the Water Street Garage, so if you park elsewhere, unfortunately, they won't work. And feel free to take some pictures with your dancers and celebrate. Woo!